Hi, I'm Dr. Naomi Simon, and today's YouTube video is a short clip about what are actinic keratosis and why should I have them treated? Well, actinic keratosis are small precancerous lesions on the skin. They usually look light pink or red and can have a little bit of fine gritty or sandpapery scale when you feel them with your finger. Um, they are the most common precancerous lesion on skin. And the problem with actinic keratosis is that some of them will progress to become squamous cell carcinoma skin cancer. So if you look at this poster here, it's a little visual diagram. Actinic keratosis are sun damaged cells. And for many years of sun hitting the skin, some of the cells in your skin, the keratinocytes, develop DNA damage and become mutated. Now, a lot of them will just sit on the surface of the skin as precancerous lesions, and your body may be able to fight them off if you have a good immune system. But about 10% of them may progress to squamous cell carcinoma over a period of one to two years. Squamous cell carcinoma can be a fatal form of skin cancer. Um, now, there are about 2,500 deaths from squamous cell carcinoma every year, and uh, somewhere around half a million new cases of squamous cell carcinoma diagnosed annually. So when you come to the dermatologist and they see precancers on your skin, actinic keratosis, usually they don't recommend that you leave them there. Um, there are many ways that we treat these lesions. Um, the most common way, if there's just one or two spots on your skin, is to just freeze them with liquid nitrogen. Uh, liquid nitrogen is a very, very cold gas, and when you f uh, spray it on human skin, right on the area where it's sprayed, basically it causes the bad cells to die, and they're going to slough off and heal into new skin. But when you come in with a lot of actinic keratosis, especially on one area, and so I see this often in um, men who've lost a little bit of hair on the top of their head, and they've continued to get sun exposure there, and so this top of their head will have 10 or 20 precancerous lesions. Also see it a lot on the face, including like the nose and ears where you've just had a lot of sun over the years. So, and those places can have 5, 10, 20 lesions. And when you start to have that many spots on one area of skin, having them all frozen with liquid nitrogen can be quite uncomfortable. And it can also lead to scarring. So at that point, your dermatologist might start to talk to you about options for what we call field treatment. Now, field treatment of actinic keratosis um, is important because let's say you think of the area of skin kind of like a flower bed. The spots that I can see with the naked eye are a little bit like weeds. So our options are we can go ahead and just pull the individual weeds or squirt them with liquid nitrogen and freeze them off, or we can treat the entire flower bed with Roundup. That's a little bit like what we're doing when we're giving you a chemotherapy cream for your scalp or face or a blue light treatment with aminolevulonic acid. We're treating the entire area of skin to get all the precancerous cells that may be scattered in there but haven't become visible yet. And this is a great way to uh, reverse many years of sun damage, precancer lesions, and to protect you from developing squamous cell carcinoma. Now, what can you do to prevent further actinic keratosis once you've had treatment? Well, very simple. Wear a hat and sunscreen when you go out in the sun. Um, you should be really wearing sunscreen on your face, ears, and neck every single day of the year because even in the winter, people do get a lot of sun exposure. You also get sun exposure driving in your car. It's also really important to protect places that you might not normally think of putting sunscreen on, like your lips and the tips of your ears. So I, I do see a lot of precancerous lesions on people's lower lip, especially. Now this can be a very dangerous place to develop squamous cell carcinoma. It can metastasize more easily. Same for the tips of your ears. So those places need sunscreen every day, and if you don't have a good chapstick with sunscreen in it, go, in, go invest in one today. The reason that you need to cover up your skin and protect your skin, even if you already have precancerous lesions, it's because every time you get additional UV radiation to your skin, it actually suppresses your skin's immune system and your skin's ability to fight off these precancerous cells. So don't think, well, I did all the damage years ago and it's too late now. Actually, that's not true. The more you protect your skin from here going forward, the less likely that these lesions are to progress to squamous cell carcinoma. Thank you.